First at 10 tonight, a serial peeping Tom who is accused of planting cameras in public restrooms is out on bail tonight. These disturbing accusations follow his recent release from prison for similar crimes. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 10. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Police say Eric Morton had hundreds of videos in his possession, some of which included kids. Now they're focusing on identifying and finding his victims. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozargian is in Ann Arbor where the investigation is unfolding. The cameras are found in eight locations total, one of them being here in this restroom in the back of Gallup Park. Now police say Eric Morton is a serial peeping Tom and these accusations coming just as he was let out of prison for similar crimes. The views at Gallup Park are gorgeous, especially on a late summer day. Ann Arbor has so many fantastic parks and this is actually one of my favorites. Nancy Thorpe is a preschool teacher and she says her students love it here. She had no idea police had arrested a man for planting cameras in a bathroom just feet away from the playground until we told her. It's crazy, really frightening and scary and something I will share with my parents at my center. Police say videos were taken with a hidden camera inside seven other bathrooms, including one at Bath and Body Works at the Briarwood Mall and a Starbucks on Plymouth Road. Deputy Chief Jason Forsberg says a tip led them to this man, Eric Morton. Well, we served two search warrants with the assistance of the Michigan State Police uh, Cybercrime Unit. Uh, and found hundreds of photographs and videos of people in various states of undress. Forsberg says those videos will be used against Morton in his upcoming trial. At the time of his arrest, Morton was out on parole. He previously served time in prison for 17 charges of capturing images of unclothed people. To hear a man was putting cameras in the bathroom here where you guys frequent, I mean, what's your reaction to that? Oh my God, that's so disconcerting. It's to, horrifying. Yeah, to think that someone would violate someone's privacy in that way and for you to be in the restroom and have no idea that you're being captured on film. Forsberg says some victims have been identified, mostly employees of the businesses targeted. The detective in charge of the case estimates there are approximately 150 to 200 additional videos with victims that are unidentified. How do you sort of sensitively handle that? It's a great question. Uh, you know, we're trying to identify the victim so that they can have some sort of peace of mind. In Ann Arbor, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Alex. Now, if you believe you may be a victim, you can fill out a form on the Ann Arbor Police Department's website. We will also post a link with that information at WXYZ.com.